rather dirty Avon, no longer the sweet stream beside which Shakespeare warbled his native woodnotes wild, flows past Stratford Theatre. It's a polluted river, like so many more. A good day's fishing is anything but guaranteed nowadays to the angler trying his luck at the nearest stream. In the unhealthy, sometimes poisoned waters, the fish die or can't breathe. You catching any? No, not at all. Uh, years ago, the brook was absolutely alive with fish. But now, owing to this dump pollution, there's practically none at all. It's not surprising. The miserable little river Sherborne, trickling through Coventry, has become a dump for any old iron. Worse still, factories can discharge waste fluid into it. When the stream reaches the Avon, no wonder that river's pretty dirty. Effluent purification plants, like this at Bolsover, can make sure that factories don't poison rivers with their wastewater. Said to be the dirtiest river in all Britain is the Irwell, deceptively clothed in white as it flows through Salford. The foam comes from detergents discharged by mills. How little oxygen remains in the water to support fish life lower down the stream in the country can be imagined. Big industry says, what are a few dead fish compared to the export drive? Work comes first. Do we want a nation of fishermen with nothing but what they catch? Or 50 millions living in prosperity? At world famous Chatsworth House, a more liberal view was expressed by the Duke of Devonshire, speaking here as the president of the Anglers Cooperative Association. That's a lovely piece of water, sir. Have you any fish in it? Yes, uh, fishing really is quite good. And it's becoming increasingly popular. Because one must realize that so many rivers are being spoiled by pollution and by water extraction. But our association cannot fight this modern scourge entirely on its own. The problem goes far wider than the question of fishing and the amenities of the river bank. There is the problem of the health of our people. London, 150 miles south of lovely Chatsworth, and where the anything but lovely River Wandle joins the Thames at Wandsworth, illustrates a quaint facet of the river pollution. In Elizabethan times, salmon abounded here. The city apprentices threatened to strike unless they had one day a week without salmon. Today, the average Londoner gets it in a tin. It seems a nationwide demand for clean rivers is the only hope. We can have them and the export drive too. Caught anything? Nay, hey, there's no here, lad. But why are you fishing? Well now, suppose I'd stayed at home, have to do the gardening, look at that TV, and oh, listen to the missus. It's hell of a life. Well, just look at this then. Eee, that's somewhat like fishing. It is. And but for river pollution, our streams could be just as good. He's tossing that one back. It's too small. By gum, I can hardly believe it. 